Karen Echo here, and we're on part three of the Scrambler 6x6. Now we're going to experiment with tires. So we're going to devote this whole video to just the tires. So I know some of you guys out there that got these 6x6s might be interested in watching this. So the first problem I had was rims, if you remember from part two. These golf cart rims are on four bolt and four inch centers. So from here to here is four inches. These scrambler hubs are four and a half inch from here to here. So it doesn't line up. And I couldn't find rims. So I have this template. This is a bolt circle template. They make them in four bolt and five bolt. I got these at a flea market years ago. The guy was selling these. He had the four and the five bolt, bolt centers for a dollar a piece. So what I did is I put four half inch bolts in the holes that match up with the golf cart bolt pattern. Then I took my transfer punch, my half inch transfer punch, and then I went to the four and a half inch centers on here, and I marked them. So here's a closer look at this, this template. Four lug bolt circle template, it's called. I don't know if you could still buy them, but here's what we need. Here's the four and a half, see? So I dropped it in there, centered it up as best I could with the hole there, took my half inch transfer punch, went in that four and a half inch spot, held it up as straight as I could, bam! Then I drill them out. Now, say you can't get this. Say you're like, Terrell, Terrell, I, I searched all over the inner screen and I couldn't find that template you had. What, is there another solution I could do? I've got one of these scramblers. Another thing you could do is, they had welded these 7 16 bolts into the back of this hub. So another thing you could do is grind, grind that weld off Take these 7 16 bolts out and then use the hub as your template. Drop the hub into the golf, court, golf cart rim and then these edges here should center it up. And then you can transfer punch through the holes in the hub. So you would use this as your template by, by cutting them off. And then when you're all done, just weld them, weld them back in. When you're all done doing all six golf cart rims, weld them back in. So I had already mounted five of the tires, but I just wanted to show you how I did this. And there was a, one other little modification you have to do to make the golf cart rim fix. Oh, and another thing, make sure that the rims you get, make sure they measure five and three quarter in here. This part right in here. So when you find some rims, make sure they're five and three quarter across because that's about the size of this. So we're gonna we're gonna get a tire that I mounted already and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I had to do to the hub. So here's here's ones that I did already. I already did the other five. So one other thing I had to do was I had to grind a little bit off of these corners. Not much to get this to lay in there flat. <laughs> You're probably thinking, they don't fit Terrell, you're having trouble. So I had to grind a little bit off to get it down in here. So it fits flat against the back of the rim. 
Now another thing nice about these rims is that they're perfectly centered. So I can put the tire on like this with the valve stem out, and if I want to say try changing the direction of the, of the flap on there, I can just spin it around. And it fits. So it fits both ways. The only drawback would be your valve stem would be on the inside if you had to fill the tire. Now these arrow, these uh, tires have an arrow on them for rotation. Now when I look these tires up, these Duros, Dune Blasters, they said left. And I couldn't find a right tire. But in the description said could be used for left or right. So I bought six of the lefts. And I mounted three with valve stem side. I mounted three with the arrow going this way. And I mounted three with the valve stem out and the arrow going this way. And something else I discovered while I was doing this tire thing. I, did the, I took the middle tires off first. Then I wanted to pull the scrambler inside the shop and I noticed that you gotta have them center tires to steer this thing. So this thing basically pivots, most of its steering pivot comes from the center tire. You know, I never owned one of these things before. I don't know much about them, so I'm learning. So the first experiment we're gonna do with these new tires is, I'm gonna put two of these on the center. And then we're gonna go out and take it for a drive. All right, there they are. We got two of them on, on the center. And I know some of y'all are probably thinking, that ain't gonna work, Carl. You're, you're mixing and matching two different size tires. That ain't gonna work. Well, look, they're touching the ground. All right, tire pressure. I'm running three pounds in these and six pounds in these. Now we're gonna go out and we're gonna drive around a little bit. And then when we go to Podunk Lake, I'm gonna put the other original tires back on. We're gonna put these back on. We're gonna run with all six of these in the water. Because what I wanna do is I wanna see how it goes in the water with the original tires. Then we'll take it out of the lake. Then we're gonna put the two center ones back on again. Because my thinking here is, you may be able to just buy, say, a couple of sand tires like this for your 6x6, and it may improve the way it, it goes in the water. You may not have to buy six of these tires. So we're going to swap out tires when we're at Podunk Lake. We're going to start with two in the center, see how that does, drive it out of the lake, We'll swap out two more for sand tires to eventually we'll have all six sand tires on there and we'll see how it goes. But right now I want to see how it drives and handles with just two in the center on regular, you know, gravel and stuff. So we're going to take it out and take it for a little drive. From just that little preliminary driving around, I could sure feel a difference. It's like much easier to steer with these tires in the center. They're really helping a lot. So we're gonna, we got some sand dunes in the back behind the shop. We're gonna go back there and see if we can climb that dune.
Well, changing those inner tires did make somewhat of a difference in handling as far as steering. So now we need to take it to Podunk Lake. So now we're going to load it up, go to the lake. We're here at Podunk Lake, and I got my pit crew with me, Donnie and Flipper. And they're going to be changing the tires on the 6x6 as we go in and out of the water, if we can get in and out of the water. <laughs> So, did you bring the tires? Uh, how am I going to carry tires? I'm riding the RV, buddy. So, you didn't bring the tires? I thought Donnie was getting them. I thought you were getting the tires. Uh, I was getting the tools. Great. So, the tires are back at the shop. I guess. Who brought, did you bring the, the impact I in the socket? You had all that stuff. All right, you guys got to go back to the shop and get the tires. Uh, great. That's an hour away. Yeah. Well, you better get going. You're burning daylight, boy. Uh, all right. Knuckleheads. Just in case, I got me a rope tied to it in case I get stuck out in Podunk Lake. So, here we go. There's a giant turtle out there. I swear to God, there was a giant turtle out there look, sticking his head up looking at me. I got scared then. Did you catch him, turtle? No. Why, you gonna make turtle soup? Yeah, that's good stuff, Grandma said. All right, let's change the middle two tires to the paddle tires and see how it does now. Pit crew, come on, get on it, get the tires. All right, where are they at? Oh, this is the pit crew. Oh. Slippers, hurry up! I forgot the jack. You don't need a jack. Downy, lay under there. <laughs> All right. He's timing us. Better hurry. hurry. Uh oh, I, lo I lost a nut. You don't need a nut. Yeah, you're right. Make sure you got it going the right way. Yeah. Is that the right way? Sure. There it is. A little sandy. Ugh. I wouldn't make it a NASCAR. Let's try these paddles out.
to work any better. I'm gonna put the parking brake on. This tire seemed to be really throwing some water. So I think we need to take that tire and spin it around. Are we taking on water? I hear something draining. Uh, it's smoking. Well, yeah. there's no water in the back. A little water down here. I, I think, think that, that was, was from the rain. Yeah, I think yeah. that was already in there. Right. I seem to be losing power. Why is it smoking? I think it's getting hot. It doesn't smell too good. But I noticed this tire was really throwing some water, probably because of this outer. So I think it, and that, that tire wasn't. But it didn't go any faster, it seemed. So Slippers put the tires on wrong. We couldn't yeah. blame Slipper. Yeah, it's always my fault. Might need more air. I think I'll leave the seat out. Nobody riding back there. All right, now we're going to throw a couple on the front. All right, come on, go. paper. All right. We got the jack. We got the jack. Don't want to cross thread them. Don't want to be like a cross thread cowboy, remember him? Laces out. Like all around the... Well, let's get it a little more out of the water. Come on, Donnie. Come on. Get your two hundred dollar knife. It's only a twenty dollar knife. $200 knife broke. Because you didn't pay $20 for it. I found a snake! Whoa, get that thing away from me. Ugh. I'll cut you. Alright, we got the belt on. Let's try it again. This belt breaks, this video's over.
Đồng Nai ơi tell you this thing is exhausting to drive it's like nascar it only wants to go left because of them paddle tires i'm getting more paddle action on this side than this side because they were lefts and they didn't have right i don't know why they would make a paddle tire left and then not offer a right and i scoured the inner screen and couldn't find the right side paddle tires and i don't think putting two more on is going to make any difference I think it's going to make it worse because that just wants to go in a circle. And then I seen a snake out there too. Turtle and a snake. Next what? Alligator? Okay, Team Terrell, this is what we're going to do. You're going to put the two original tires back on the front because it just made it worse, these paddle tires. And we're going to take this one paddle tire off and spin it around so that other extra lip is to the outside, and then we're gonna see how it acts, okay? All right, All right let's go. Go to it. it. Hurry up. Go to it. All right, let's try it again.
didn't help any. I was like, my muffkin's falling off. Uh, you, Terrell, you lost well, your butt. I lost my muffkin. Muffkin. Ran it off. Looks like it's laying right oh, there. Oh, there it is. Door. Go get it, Donnie. Go! Oh. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> Cold water, Terrell. Why don't we just put two in the back? Yeah. Let's try that. Lot louder the better, baby. If it's too loud, it's too old. Terrell, things are just falling apart. All right, put two in the bag. I had zero steering that way. I couldn't control this thing at all with them paddle tires on the back. So for our final test, we're gonna put two of the paddle tires just on the front. This is our last test of these tires because I'm getting sick of this. again. 
because I didn't know I had the stupid brake on. All right, let's try this again without the brake on this time. thousand man hours wasted well in conclusion my paddle tire theories really didn't work out too good I thought by having these paddle tires you know I was gonna be able to pick up some speed and go faster through the water and all the different combinations you know you saw that we did really didn't seem to help too much what are you doing Donnie I want to sit here Terrell just don't drive away so the front ones seemed to make it steer a little better, but again, it didn't seem to go any faster than the stock tires that were on it. I think if I had some better panel tires in this size, but again, these were the only ones I could find in this size, were these panel tires. If I had straight paddles, they'd probably work a lot better than these curved ones. But I couldn't find anything in this size. So, in conclusion, you've seen it. This was our tire experiment. Now we're just gonna go ride on some trails and ride around. I guess we're going a little too fast because it done flipped the belt this time. But it was zipping along pretty good there. Maybe that's why that bolt's supposed to be in there. I don't know. See, what I noticed is when they repowered this thing, this had an 8 horse in it and they put this 10 horse in it with this recoil and they had to shove everything over this way and including the clutch so I don't think any everything is in line like it's supposed to be so that's going to be some stuff we'll have to address in a future video but I do notice that those little bit smaller tires that I did use even though they don't work well in the water no matter where I put them, it seems to steer easier out on the trail. Whether I put them in the middle or I put them on the front, it seems to steer easier on the trail, I think, because there's less resistance. So that's something to keep in mind if you've got one of these things and you want to mess around with the tires a little bit. And it did help it to get in and out of the water. It had a lot more traction. So there's our experiment on these tires so subscribe to this youtube channel terrell fixes all that's me terrell the crazy guy in this scrambler six by six 
that I got for free, so I really can't complain because I got it for free. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy one of these things, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat on the trails, but I have no use for it. Follow me, Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some tarot apparel. We got all kind of tarot stuff. And as always, there's your dinner. So I'm not gonna give it a big woo. I'm gonna give it a little woo, a little light woo, cause the tires didn't work out like I wanted to. Woo, but we still had fun at Podunk Lake, woo.